cool. Do you oh, guys shit. have any ideas for players you would like to see in the show match? Obviously, um, we can only <laughs> get you know so many players or whatever. I can't be we can't be hitting up J Dong, unfortunately. <laughs> I tried, uh, man. I know, yeah, contract issues. You know how it goes. You know the Knights will try for next season. But um, if you guys want to see somebody, just let us know, man, because we are uh, we want to be showing people that you guys like. Like, I'm pretty hyped for the show match tonight, man. Yeah, a lot of hype for it. Yeah, me too, man. I hope we don't have to play a match between us to wait for them. I told him it was going to be a little more towards 10. And even double casting fucking all kinds of games tonight. We've just blown through tonight's tournament. It's been insane. I don't think there's been a series that's lasted more than 30 minutes. So it's just been really fast. But we're going to make it happen either way if I have to sit here and sing to you guys for five minutes while we're waiting for them. Nah. Well, if we have... We have, if we have like an hour, this series, this is the last series before we would have had to play a show match, right? So like, I don't think this series is going to take an hour. Yeah. No, nah, we should be good. I think the only issue was is that one of the clans is playing in a wardy team league. So they were just waiting until that was over. But either way, we'll get it done. I already sent messages out and I haven't heard anything just yet. But I did let them know that they're like 30, 40 minutes out. So we'll see what they say. Uh, nothing too crazy just going on here, guys. Both of them did expos. Uh, just now pool coming up for general and Carter's pool is already up as well, but Queens and drones being produced nothing aggressive or anything like that It's a pretty standard open or uh, standard CVZ opener Yep, so we got metabolic boost coming out uh, for Carter I'm surprised he hasn't dropped that evil chamber He usually likes to time up his plus one with speed, but it looks like he's doing a bit of a different build here <laughs> By the way, well, we got a, a second here, I guess this is weird. We have like a second in the ZVZ. <laughs> um, if you guys uh, have a moment, go check out uh, thenitus.com. We have uh, we're gonna be doing any sort of like announcements and uh, reports of winners and stuff like that there. But we also have kind of like this cool video library where if you guys have you know cool moments that you've clipped on Twitch or whatever and you want to see them on the site, uh, you can send them to us and we'll get them posted. Um, and if you need any tournament information, sign up brackets, any of that stuff. I uh, want to see cool streamers or whatnot. Just go check out thenetus.com. Yeah. And that's my one sellout for it. No, I'm going to do it again, man. My man Giggle worked fucking hard on that website. And if you don't believe me, just pull it up. You can see how hard he worked on it in the first five seconds of visiting it. So everyone, please go check out uh, thenetus.com. Not because I'm trying to sell out, just because I'm happy, man. The dude pulled off an amazing website. Uh, but we are going to use it for like our centralized information location for all of our rules, our brackets, all of our challenge. So... Pretty much you need to be visiting it anyway if you like the Nidus content because that's going to be our portal. So, huge shout out to Mr. Giggle for finishing a beast of a fucking website. And we no longer have to uh, make stuff up because we're underway in a ZBZ now. Carter's speed yeah, finished yeah. first and it always feels good as the Zerg with speed first. Because then you get to do this and just chase the slowlings across the map and kill them all. Uh, but, yeah, just ferocious. Yeah, just chase, I love it. Like a whole pack of them chasing those like two lings. Yeah, and I'm a little nervous for General because Carter seems to have cut drone production completely. I'm trying to keep my eye on it, but Carter has went full-blown ZVZ like fucking Ling Rush. Normally, I don't see this from Carter. He's he's a macro player, but hey, man. Yeah, it's what nice he... to see him switching up because what he's going to get here is these, these small packs of roaches aren't going to be enough for the Lings that are coming in. Yeah, so General's pumping out. Oh, okay, so he does have that static D as well, and these roaches are going to be able to come start pushing this back. Uh, but Carter's coming in and moving on these drones. Okay, so he gets three drones, and he just decides to pull back. Oh, but, wow. Uh, what Carter's got going for him here is he's got plus one coming in. Uh, so these lings, you know, is like... I guess the main drones are still there, so... Uh, General should be able to get up on roaches, but plus one lings can start to take fights against medium-sized packs of roaches fairly well. Yeah, absolutely. If you have plus one on your lings and you get the surround, I feel like those are the two key th key ingredients. Um, lings are somewhat effective versus roaches. I wouldn't say effective, but they can get the job done by sheer brute force. Uh, but yeah. Carter behind this decides to drop his roach warren as well, so I don't think he's going to actually stick with all these lings. It'll be interesting to me if he continues pumping them. He just wanted to get some insanely early... Oh shit, he's going with his lair as well. Uh, Generals is done, so he's getting roach speed. So we're going to go into a full-blown roach battle with speed. Carter's true colors end up coming out. I mean, you can cheese all you want with Ling's, man. Eventually, <laughs> you will return to the macro, you know? Yeah, exactly. Uh, Tech4 and linking the Nidus.com in chat. Everyone, again, I'm not going to sell out all night, but... My man put in hours on the website. At least give it the old click, check it out. See if you want to add any content to it. We're open to suggestions and stuff. So 
Yeah, That's man. all I'm gonna do. No more. I just wanted to throw it out there. Uh, it's yeah, a monster of a cool website. Plays and shit, but uh, not, yeah, not too much. As both players, as you said, kind of posturing and going up to macro. Carter grabbing his third. <laughs> he's still got those lings out on the map, so he's gonna be able to be mobile and get his scouting information. And General as well just dropped his third. Yeah, and General saw that Carter <clears throat> took his third. I don't know that Carter has vision on General's third yet, so that's the big difference. But this is a monster run by, and it has yep. plus one, so these lings are gonna be able to just do work on this mineral line. A little that's bit of a miss micro though. They were just move commanded into the mineral line. Okay, here yep, we go. I think there were attack moves and there was a roach that popped. Oh, okay. Uh, but man, they are carving through nine. Drones have already died here. As the roaches come up, trying to get as many lings as they can. They're going to run down. Uh, not going to be able to find any damage because of the queen and the spines there. But Yeah, so they're going to get forced away by those roaches. But nine drones is a pretty significant run by for sure. Yep. Does he, did he see the, the third now. though? Um, I don't think so. Nope, he hasn't yet. Yeah, no, so General knows about Carter's third, but Carter does not. Um, and General's going to choose to attack here with his Roaches, but Carter has six in production as well as five Ravagers. So he should be able to hold this provided that he sees it coming across, and he did based on his army positioning. So, Yep, so he's going to be able to come up here and have the Supreme Roach numbers, but Carter, unfortunately, uh, when he reinforces, is going to have more Roach numbers. He doesn't want to lose these, wants to be really careful. Uh, General needs every Roach that he can get, as his third's going to be later. Yeah, so the one thing General has going for him is that speed was already finished and Carter's has not, so he's able to just kind of shoot and scoot his way on out of here. But on top of this, Carter has a little Ling run by that was able to get four drones done. So for at the only cost of like six Lings, that's a pretty effective trade in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. I totally agree, dude. Uh, I'm just trying to see where they're headed with Tech Pass. It looks like Carter's headed into a Hydra Den. And so is General. I'm waiting to see who pops out that Lurker first, man. But General's going with uh, range and attack first, so. Yeah, I gotta say, I like the number of Ravagers in uh, Carter's army. You can tell General's trying to get up there as well. But a good mix of Ravagers to be able to siege in those Roach fights is, or roach fights are, uh, is really nice to have. Yep, absolutely. So Carter's starting to pump out. Okay, I got these fucking weird blue squares again, man. I apologize for that. I really feel like it's a game hard issue because I had it all solved through my in-game interface, so. Yeah. It's gonna be okay guys they're blue squares yeah there's just blue squares i think they're all lings or overlords whenever you see them depending so i was just waiting to see if anyone went for lurkers but it paid off because it looks like carter's gonna be the first person to rock the old lurker huh nice dude i know you like them lurkers yeah yep. uh lurker den coming in now uh taking a look at general's base he just has the hydra den um he has researched the upgrade though so um i guess he does have that this carter i think he went right into lurker did he research it yeah he hasn't researched it yet yep Absolutely, and I'm not trying to be more biased towards either player at all, but I think it's worth noting that because Carter was able to take his third at a much faster pace, the drone count is uh, starting to spiral out of control. Carter now has 60 drones versus General's 36. Oh, God, uh, so yeah. we got to keep an eye on that, you know, We're trying to all bias aside. That's pretty significant. Yep, you can just see it if you look at if you look at the forest. Click on the yellow forest, zoom in. That's pretty big forest. Yeah, roaches, ravagers. Then go to the red forest, zoom in. Like, <laughs> wow, that, that's most of my camp. That's just having more stuff, dude. You know, like yeah, but general. <laughs> yeah, general is now starting his lurker den as well, and he has a bunch of hydras in production. So we are gonna get that awesome in-game battle between sieging lurkers, which should be pretty fun to cast. We just gotta wait a little while for it. Um, but the one thing general does have going for him is zerg missile attacks his level two is going to finish before carter's level one even finishes so he's not out of it at all he just needs to do a couple insanely fat round of drones in order to stay in this fight uh but we know that and he doesn't so yeah yeah absolutely it's something that as casters <laughs> and, and without the fog of war we definitely get to see shoot and scoot that's what i do with my girl every wednesday hey Indeed, all right sir. i mean i just had to call it out i give credit where credit is due sir <laughs> So this one changeling getting up in the base, dude. Actually, there's already one up there, but Carter, very nice move to go see what's going on, exactly how many units are coming out. Yeah, behind this quarter, uh, Carter feels comfortable enough to take his fourth, too. So that will go completely unscouted for now. But General does have a roach headed over there. This hero roach is going to see everything he needs to see, and I'd imagine General is going to choose to attack the second he sees that Carter's on his fourth. Yeah, Find out if I make an ass out of myself. This one money roach. 
Roach Hydra, like Carter's force is gigantic. If uh, General was to go attack into it, I mean, he has his own lurkers coming in now, and that's really the key unit that he needs. But if he's still, if he gets attacked or attacks into this, he's going to have a hard. Look at this. Look at the stream coming in. Like, zoom out. <laughs> How fucking horrific is that? Oh, God. That's a lot of lurkers combined with an insane amount of roaches as well. Uh, but the one thing General has going for him is a lot of lurkers as well. If he can get him over here and plant it. Oh, it all comes down to this. They got planted too early. They should have come down to the bottom of this ramp. They're kind of stuck up here. Oh, he's the protecting his Carter. third. He is. I'd like to see him spread out just a little bit more, though. Oh, wow. Carter is going to attack in up into it. That was pretty bad. He uh, doesn't want to do that, but he is going to scoop around outside of the ramp to lurk around. Like I said, I'd like to see him split a little bit more here because he has to take an awkward fight. Oh, man. So now General is forced to come down here and engage into Carter's lurkers. General doesn't really have any lurkers in a good enough position. He's going to siege him outside of the forces of all these roaches and stuff from Carter. Um, so Carter is in a very good spot right now. He just can't leave if he tries to leave. Oh, like right now! Yep, yep. So the Lurker's going down for Carter, but he is going to rip through the rest of those Ravagers. Um, meanwhile, General's Lurkers are kind of out of position as his natural base is getting absolutely owned by these Rook Ravager forces. Yeah, and there's a bit of a weird awkward phase where he could have lifted up his Lurkers and brought him in here, but I'm not quite sure what the holdup is. I think he's just trying to do a bit of a macro round behind that, you know. It's hard to make decisions when you're being sieged into like this. Uh, so he moves moves his lurkers up into a position to where Carter will never be able to leave, but he had to lose his natural. And that last Ravager going down, but Carter, the damage is done for him. Uh, as these lurkers continuing to siege the third, uh, one of them's going to move over even to the drone line. No detection there for General. Oh no, the road. Okay. No. Detection came in there. All right, so Generals is going to be able to clean that up, but at what cost? Carter was able to get in there and get a lot of drones down, and on top of that, Generals natural. So now Carter is sitting on a 66 drone lead to Generals 31. Uh, yeah. And he's building 20 Zerglings, so now what? It just comes to run by. Uh, yeah, man, look at the bases. Once again, we're doing the numbers game thing, but it's just like he's mining. He's pretty much mined out of his main. His third is doing okay, but he doesn't have a natural. Carter on four bases with even more Lurkers and Hydra Ling. Uh, I think he's just going to be able to kind of A move. Yep. Angel, thank you very much for following. I appreciate it. I didn't even hear the sound go off, but I still caught it. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much, man. Weird. I wonder why the sound didn't go off. The alert. All right, the so... Alert. Carter is just kind of hanging out for now. He knows he's ahead, so there's no reason to push. Uh, but General's not out of it just yet. He's trying to do a couple rounds of drones as well as getting his natural down. I think he still has the upgrade advantage as well, though. Let me check here real quick. Nope. So Carter caught up to him in upgrades. Yeah. Well, he did there for a while. It was pretty significant. Uh, but I think he forgot to queue him up. Or he may have lost him in that wall, actually. I think the Evos were part of the wall. So... So Carter just wanting to make sure that he has everything that he needs before committing to an attack. Knows he has the advantage as he moves up onto his fifth base. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, General moving over to his fourth. Uh, what's really going to start acting as his third. So Carter, definite advantage as far as economy here. Um, Swift wind yeah. saying that Lurker's EBZ is like TBT. It is pretty funny, though, when you think about it, man. It, it They're not is, quite yeah. tanks, but you just got to kind of siege your way forward and eventually do it. Yeah, I mean, I see the comparison it for sure. It becomes a positional battle, kind of. Yeah. The general's third base. What's up? What's up? There it is. I, I think it's it. because it was gone there for a while. It was oh. missing. But... Yeah, I mean, General's not out of it. We're trying to remain unbiased. But the one thing Carter, Carter has going for him is he's <clears throat> starting to switch into a much more late-game oriented uh, style as he has his ultra-list cavern, cavern down right now. Cavern. 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 So, lings, mass lings, and more lings. Yeah. Is, is Adrenal done already? I know he's got his high. Okay, so it's about halfway done. Get some cracklings out here, see if, what they can get done versus roaches. I love how General always sends out this one scouting roach, though, just to get over there and see what it can get done. Um, <laughs> but last time it learned the entire enemy composition, so I guess it's only funny if it doesn't work. Again, though, it's going to see that there's just an insane number of links. Yep, and so he's going to move his army out now to protect uh, what's, what's his third, but... Uh, you know, if those lings get a good surround and they keep the army in place, man, those lurkers could just go to town. But a couple of lurkers of his own, though, going to be able to shoo away as best he can with those. I think he's just got two, right? Yeah. No, he's got four. <clears throat> and got now four. Carter's starting missile attacks level three. 
and the cracklings are about to pop as well so upgrade is starting to switch you know, we can take a look at the army size graph I forgot that all these cool ass graphs exist within the game now <laughs> it's pretty cool man all right, so Carter's going to poke around with all of his lings and kind of see what he can get done. And behind this, take what? His fifth base? Sixth? Uh, sixth, sixth base. Yeah. Okay, so his sixth base is now popping. As we said, Carter just kind of starts to get ahead on the macro game, and then he just runs away like a freaking freight train. Um, but, oh, shit. I almost missed the ling run by. So these lurkers are going to come and get planted. Holy fuck, that's a lot of lurkers. Yep, that is, man. There. Some of them are playing a little far back. He's got Ultralisk coming in now. Just two Lurkers up top there. He probably could push it into this if he wanted to, but he just wants to make sure that if he does, he's going to end up winning the game. Clearing out some creep. Yeah, so... Oh, Ling run by in the main, dude. Yeah, so General has some seized up Lurkers and is able to prevent this from moving forward, but that was an insane run by from Carter. He's going to be able to poke up in here, start working on this. Eventually, General is going to be forced to pull something back to deal with this, too, because those are cracklings. I mean, they're not really a laughing matter anymore. Um, okay, so it looks like he's about to move out for it right now, and that leaves this third pretty vulnerable. While he does have a lot of lurkers, it's just not enough. Yep. Damn, look at how much work those cracklings did to that hive, dude. They almost got it down completely in that amount of time. That's nuts. Uh, without Car- I mean, Carter did not punish him for it, though, so I mean, he did. He was able to safely go back. It was a pretty big commitment to bring the whole army. Yeah. But he did save the hive, and, uh, Carter didn't press into him, so he does get away a little bit with a little bit of a lucky play there. Yep, and Carter is now switching into an insanely late-game comp as broods are now coming into production. So he's going Ultra Brood, uh, versus, like, Hydra Lurker comp, Ravager comp hey, of General. This is pretty nice though. It's rare that we get to see super, super late game ZVZs. So, um, Carter, I gotta say at this point, oh, I mean, I'm not trying to be biased or whatever. Runbys. He's got yeah, multiple run bys, one going to each base. Oh, the lurkers, lurkers though from uh, General. Yep. Very nice. Uh, Roach Hydra clumped up there, taking care of those lings. Carter swooping around with his ultra and lurker. Yeah, so those lings got cleaned up by all these lurkers and roaches, but this is a lot of lurkers that General now has to contest with. And they're so clumped, if he ventures out into that, yeah, exactly what just happened is going to happen. Just started destroying that front line of uh, roaches. And now he has broods joining this fight, as well as ultras. This is just starting to become a little overwhelming. Oh, shit. Oh, no. No. Too no, many lurkers. Roach, there it is. GG, General knows. So he comes down there, sees the 20 lurkers planted, and just knows he can't really contest that. So Carter will take a game number one. At least it wasn't a five-minute ling rush, man. I'm pretty stoked about that. Yeah, I know. That was a crazy macro game. Yeah. So the next map is Avani. All right. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Let me tab out real quick. I hope it doesn't lock anything up. But I got a couple messages. Okay. Do what you do. I got a cool from one. Okay, I got a couple. I'm just waiting for... One of them is confirmed. Just waiting on the other player. But we got 50% of a show match already. Nice. I'll play in my damn self, dude. dude. Bring it on, Pilly go, Pilly. Dude, I ain't scared of a it, WCS bro. player. No, <laughs> dude, with one hand, maybe. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, where he's like, all right, man, I will play with one hand. Just fucking destroys you. Yeah, no, I know he would, dude. We'd have to do like a... You can't touch the mouse for five minutes and then, and then jump in. All right, so game number two will be on Bonnie Research Station. And we'll see if General can pull it out. I mean, he plays ZBZ like a beast. We've already seen him clinch him. Yeah, man. He was holding on, but it was just... Um, like, really, the difference between having a bunch of bases and, and Nurgles and that, you know? Just, Carter yeah. eventually just wore him down. Yeah, if you play as mechanically... Like, not perfect, because that's a bit of a strong word. But if you play as mechanically sound as Carter, and you defend that early aggression, you just take a lead and get an even bigger lead. So, yep. That's right, though. It's not all about Carter. I hope he loses this game, so we get a game number three. I can say that. I can say that. Uh, okay. So our yellow Zerg player at the bottom of the map, currently down one game in this series, but has the ability to pull through. It is General, who's teamless. And his opponent in the top of the map, the red Zerg from Clan Just, it is Carter. Just Carter. Just Carter. Yep. <clears throat> All right. So, 
see what kind of a ZVZ we get out of this one, man. You can never tell with ZVZs. I was about to call that one an early Ling Bane game too, and it turned into some late game like Ultra Brood shit. So you never know. Yeah, man, that one went for a while. It was pretty cool. Carter was choosing every tech path under the sun, pretty much. Yep. Swiftwind777 saying Vani is next, so I think we're going to see some Mutas. I, too, like Mutas on this map. And normally, Carter loves him some LBM, so it wouldn't surprise me to see from his side of things. Um, but I'm not quite sure about General. This is the first time that we've seen him in our tournament, and I hope not the last, because dude's a monster and has been a pleasure to cast him. Yeah, man, made a good run in the tournament so far. And it seems like he likes to play Roach Hydra in most of the games that we've seen him play. Yeah. Not a bad um, showing so, for your first time to make it all the way into semifinals, right? Like, dude's a beast. So. Hell yeah, and got two of your games casted. Like, that's always fun. If that's what you're into, you know, when you play those tournaments. Yeah, I like that. I'm kind of into that. So Carter's going to take his natural bit before general. Maybe general's just like, all right, man. Time for the inevitable link flood off of one base. Nah. <clears throat> Oh yeah, man. Metabolic boost coming in now. <laughs> yeah, shit. Maybe I spoke too soon. We are just going to get our early ass ZBZ game that everyone was expecting. I don't know, though. <laughs> if anyone has the ability to hold it off, I think it's probably Carter. If this Overlord can see these links come in. If this Overlord misses this, then he might be in a bad Let's way. check his vision, man. Oh, he missed him. That's wow. the only thing about this map, though. Oh. oh, okay. So he may have saw two come over. Yeah, those are like... He would have really had been paying attention, but he had an opportunity to see them. Yep. And still no Banley Nest. Uh, General has his Banley Nest down behind this, so he is going with the one base, like extremely all in your face, Ling Blaine. Ling Bane. Ling Blaine? Yeah, I, I don't know. Words are hard, man. All right, so this Queen now, he's going to know exactly what's going on here. Nice micro there, bringing the weak Ling back, uh, getting some damage on the Queen. Carter accidentally pulling his drones all to the extractor there for a second. Yep, Carter needs a Banley Nest, and he needs one right about Meow. So General is all in on this. He hasn't even taken his natural yet. Carter knows that he doesn't have the back one, but on this map, it's not all uncommon to not take the front one, so maybe he assumes that's what's going on. But given the number of lings Carter's seen, he's got to know it's coming down. Uh, we have a spraying collar in his base, as well as the bangling nest that we were begging for. Uh, but yeah, the damage has already been done, it looks like. One queen going down is a pretty big deal this early in the game. Uh, but Carter was able to push it back with that second queen and a bunch of lings, so he's not out of it yet. He just needs to kind of buy his time until that Baneliness is done. On the other side of the things, okay, I was going to say General needs Banes, and he needs them right now. If he can get up in there and get a couple good Bane hits, that's going to be a good night for Mr. Carter. Uh, yeah, but Car right. Carter his was smart. His own Nest is about to finish, though. Let's see. He immediately warps in, or warps in, brings in two Banelings, and he has an additional spine. He has a spine and an additional one going down. Not to mention, super smart move, guys. The drone uh, transfer. I got to say, I really like this. Brought his drones yeah. to the back, <laughs> making those Banes happen to run even farther. I know your body, dude. I know you were going to comment on that, because I was about yeah. to say the same thing. Like, it's so smart. Such a simple move, but he knew that the Banes were coming in and that he needed to pull back, and now they have to walk past uh, two spines in order yep. to get we get back to that juicy juicy natural line back there so yep pretty money Absolutely. pretty money pool there and now general's committed so much to this because he's still on one base he pretty much needs to seal the deal right here because now carter has gotten the overlord out here and is going to see that general is just now taking his second so general needs carter, to put some work in carter gets a good scout on what was outside of his base too, so he just, that he just needs to, i know that would have been juicy <laughs> but um so he needs to make sure that he doesn't trigger those banelings on anything stupid uh he has four of them so he kind of has something to play with but he wants to make sure he keeps them alive good micro there general i mean he's in a tough spot he knows and he goes ahead and takes his natural underneath a carter overlord unfortunately yeah and it wouldn't be such a big deal if carter didn't have one over here as well because now he knows that there's not one at the back so Carter's going to know that his natural was insanely late, but really, General's not out of it. He has the worker lead right now. Carter was forced to pull his drones, build a bunch of static defense, and do a bunch of stuff with his drones to where General's not out of this by any means. Uh, he's taking a really, really late second, but really, that's that's about all this cost him. Yeah. Tech 4 is out here betting like a madman. No shit. <laughs> no, right? He's fighting with Revlobot or something. I don't know. I know. We need like a coin manager that sets up in game bets. Like you could bet on Carter versus General, but we haven't yeah, set that up just yet. But it's definitely one of the ideas that we're exploring in the future. Uh, it's just been kind of low on the priorities. Oh, man. Banelings. Oh, so now. many Banelings. I know it's an overused statement, but look at that. Nice micro there. Doesn't want to lose that one. Okay, there we go. Yeah, no, Carter's micro has been nice with them Banes, dude. I always lose a couple Banes to, like, that one asshole Ling, so. 
<laughs> that's pretty funny. Like, dude, stop. Dude, I know. Stop. I'm like, come on. You know I suck at this game. That's why you keep sending one Ling in, dude. I'm sick of your shit. Uh, but once they see that you lose one, it's all over from there. Look at the oh, look at these bangs. Shield, dude. I know. Yeah, we're so he's sending in Ling's one at a time now. Going to try to pick these off. Oh, if he would have stayed on that one, he would have got it. Good spread, though, from Cole. Oh. Okay, never mind. Oh, God. Oh, this God. is going to be... Oh, <laughs> juicy. So ZVZ juice. in a nutshell, man. There was enough Banes. They just weren't in the correct location. And now Carter is going to be able to pick off this natural. And down it goes. The Lings will remain. Bane Lings still, uh, I think, six of them for Carter. So we should be able to... General frantically trying to bring in more Banes, but I just don't think it's going to be enough. Yeah, so he has one parked on the ramp, which I like a lot. He's going to be able to see these coming. Oh, he even held it, too, without detonating it. Uh, so Carter's going to swoop up in here and see what he can get done. General still has a few banelings, though. If he gets a couple good connects, it's not over just yet. Carter does trigger one of them, but yeah, that one extra uh, could be juicy. Oh, no. Uh, not the best hit, but he does take down some lings as Carter splits, though. Uh, the lings in the natural have died. Uh, at least Carter doing his best morphing things in that dude's base. Yeah. Definitely rough. Ling's pouring out the floor general. He should be able to clean this up. He's got to watch for those Bane hits when they come in. Nope. Uh, and he knows GG will game. be called. And Carter will advance to his second finals.